I need your advice on Kenwood dishwasher problems. Kenwood dishwashers tend to be hard to load. The doors usually don't stay open when the bottom tray is out. I do not see why that's a big problem. Loading any dishwasher is a practical application of skills developed while playing Tetris. The bottom basket won't stay out if you're trying to load it, there's nowhere to put other types of bowls on the racks made for pasta bowls, and large items don't fit at all. My crock pot does not fit in any dishwasher. And it doesn't fit wine glasses on the top rack unless you lower it. And you have to lift it again to put large dinner plates on the bottom rack. At least that problem has a solution, though a little more effort than average. It does not dry the dishes very well. It only does a mediocre job cleaning them. I can air dry the dishes if I have to, especially if I don't have to hand wash them. It takes a long time to complete a cycle, and it doesn't clean caked on or burn food even on the long heavy-duty wash cycle. That's a common problem for water miser dishwasher, especially when phosphorus was taken out of the dish detergent. It does not do a good job dispersing detergent powder, and it doesn't do a good job spraying water if you have average-sized dinner plates in the unit. Then I guess I need to use gel packs. It takes two hours for a medium-length cycle, longer for sterilizing or heavy-duty loads. How is the quick cycle? If you use the quick wash cycle, even with a rinse aid, it doesn't do a very good job, and absolutely doesn't dry them on quick wash. I'm not sure any efficient dishwasher does a good job on a quick wash cycle. Another problem is that you have to squat down to see the controls. Compared to some units with impenetrable flashing lights for communication, that's not a problem. The few benefits of the Kenwood dishwashers are their low price and efficiency. The hard part is finding someone in the US to repair them for a reasonable price and without charging a fortune for it. They're built to European water and energy efficiency standards. The bad part is the water miserliness so bad you're prone to water accumulation and mold in places where the water doesn't quite drain. The last thing I need is clean dishes coming out smell worse than they did going in.